And the Channel 7 News team is back in North Arkansas tonight as the recovery continues from this weekend's deadly tornado outbreak. The National Weather Service now confirming five twisters touched down. As many as five additional tornado tracks are being investigated tonight. Let's take a look at the tornadoes uh, that have been confirmed so far. Weather Service data confirms a trio of powerful EF3 tornadoes, a one in Benton County, another here in Baxter County, and a third that moved uh, between Marion and Boone counties right here. In fact, we've just learned of a sixth confirmed tornado in Rogers, although the track has not yet been established. Then in northeast Arkansas, there were additional tornadoes. An EF2 that uh, touched down here near Paragould in Greene County and an EF1 that was on the Green Craighead County line. Let's turn now to Marion County, where that EF3 twister claimed the lives of two people. The death toll has been revised down from three after it was determined that one of those deaths was not related to the weather. Still, as you can tell, there is a great need for assistance across Marion County tonight. And that is where we find Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham. She is in Yellville with more on the resources that are now available to residents there. Ashley. With over 30 homes damaged in the county, and that number is still growing, Marion County emergency management officials and the Red Cross have places like this where cots are available to sleep, they have food for anybody who needs it, and of course, charging stations for any residents that need the resources. It's devastating. I mean, the, the damage itself, just seeing from the highway or being in some of the smaller areas in the community, it's just... It's devastating. Marion County EMA Director Melissa Penn says they are working to get residents back on their feet. We have a call center, a dedicated phone line that has been set up for just people calling and needing assistance, whether it is tree removal or it is boxes or it is someone to come help them with tarping their roof just to make sure that nothing else is damaged. We've got all of that available um, and that phone line is dedicated for them or for volunteers to call and say, hey, I want to help. Penn says the Yellville multi-purpose facility located behind the high school will have showers with hygiene products provided. Uh, we'll have male and female showers set up. Each each uh, restroom is set up for four showers. One of each is an ADA accessible, so handicap accessible as well. At the Marion County Fairgrounds, the American Red Cross has set up a respite center with food, air conditioning, cots, and charging stations. Because of the heat, we wanted people to come in and get out of the, get out of the heat because they didn't have any electricity, no air conditioning. We had plenty of air conditioning. Uh, we had power uh, outlets for them to charge their phones. Uh, we have some food for them to have. And everyone is working together to get the recovery process started. We're coordinating with um, another team out of Baxter County that is handling a lot of the tree service. So they're coordinating organizations and volunteers to help go out and remove trees. Um, but we're, we're all kind of working together as a big family right now. Now, the American Red Cross will be conducting their damage assessment tomorrow, going door to door to see what areas need the most assistance. In Marion County, on your side, I'm Ashley Lunningham. Okay, Ashley, thanks so much. The Respite Center at the Marion County Fairgrounds will be open from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. for as long as it's needed. There will also be someone there to answer a designated phone number from 8 a.m. to 4.30. We can give you that number. It's 870 870- 449-7567. Residents can also start a claim with the American Red Cross by calling the 800 number 1-800-733-2767.